So Atavis is a company that, that we had come across. Uh, so when I learned that you were the director of, of partnership there, and I think that's your title, please correct me if I'm wrong. Um, you, you know, I, I jumped on being able to speak with someone that understands data and how that can really impact the game. So can you just speak a little bit about what you're doing now? Yeah, yeah. So uh, I'm the director of uh, corporate development and partnerships uh, for Adivis Football, uh, which I just joined actually, uh, gosh, probably six months ago. So I'm, I'm still I'm still new to it. <laughs> uh, but previously, I was with another company uh, that made head impact monitors inside of a mouthpiece. So I was uh, still kind of relatively in the same space before. Uh, but one thing that I really liked about what we're doing here at Adivis was we're not just giving data, we're giving data that you can act upon. Um, and I think that is kind of the struggle for a lot of these companies is, you know, having data is great, but if it doesn't paint the complete picture of what happened, um, then you can't really do anything with it, right? It's just a bunch of numbers. Like, what do those, what do those numbers mean? Um, so for us to be able to break down the tackle, every tackle uh, that happens in a game and give specific data points to coaches, uh, to athletic directors, um, and then give some insights with that to where they can make an actionable decision. And maybe sometimes that action is to do nothing, um, you know, is, is very powerful stuff. Um, you know, and, and I think that's kind of the, the, the future of, of sports. Um, and I think the, the future for Adivis and, and with all of our clients and everything that we're doing, I think the, the future for us is pretty bright. Oh, absolutely. It, you know, just we, we live in an age where, where there is so much data. We're, we're finding new ways to collect it all the time, it feels like. But, but for, you to got, for you guys to be sort of leading that charge in finding a way to, you know, implement it in football, uh, certainly a sport where, where there is a lot of money that's generated and a lot of money spent. Um, but the, the key being that actionable data piece, so to be able to give any institution act information that they can make decisions on. I mean, that is the difference between you just being a, a company and a company that can lead the charge. Yeah, absolutely. I think um, when you look at data and you look at what we provide, right, it's, it's kind of a, a twofold type of deal, the way I, was, I approach it. Um, number one, I'm only going to talk to coaches if I feel like the data that we provide and or service will help them win more ball games. Right. If, if I can't do that, and, and regardless of what company you are, to be honest, um, if you can't improve the level of performance, uh, whether it's from the players or the coaching staff, um, then they're probably not going to be interested. And, and realistically, you're not helping them at all. Uh, but then, too, when you look at football in particular, you look at the safety concerns that have been out there uh, with concussions recently in the past years, regardless of how you feel about it, um, for us to be able to give data and show them that, hey, if you not necessarily 100% adopt, and we would love for, for uh, a team to or organization to 100% adopt what we do and what we believe in, um, but the data backs up that what we're doing works. So, you know, we, we track, you know, how many times you go to make a tackle and the first thing that impacts it is your head. Uh, but we've, we've shown with, uh, with all our teams a reduction in that. Um, so I think what makes us a little bit different is, you know, not only are we telling you how many times, you know, your head is impacted trying to make a tackle, but now we are able to correct the problem with some of the other data points that we provide. You know, and the nice thing is, is you're able to then input that into your own video system, whether it's XOs or DB Sport or Puddle, and now you can start to break it down by, you know, when does it happen and what part of practice this is this happening and now you can start to manage practice that's where the ad comes in right or the, the head coach or whoever's planning the practice um so it kind of paints that complete picture of okay what is going on how do i fix it do i need to fix it what is the culture going on uh within the organization and that's that's powerful valuable stuff right as opposed to just saying hey this guy got hit in the head at 50 g's rotational force was you know 4400 uh, those numbers, unless you're a researcher, doesn't mean anything, right? Um, you know, as a coach, you know, okay, cool. How do, how do I fix that? Um, and that's what we do at Adivis is, you know, we're able to break down each tackle and, and you know, give the, the positives and, and, and minuses uh, for, for each guy that, that goes in there. Um, and that allows the coaches to really hyper-focus on, on something that happens on every single play. Yeah, I, I, I mean, I, I'm sold. I, I think it's such a great idea. It's such a huge step forward that I, you know, I, I think that the future is tremendously bright. So uh, wh where's the best place for people to find more information about it? 
Yeah, if you just go to aativist.com uh, and, and go to our website, uh, we have a bunch of videos up there. Uh, obviously, you can contact me directly. You know, my email is terrence.wheely at aativist.com. Um, and we'll be happy to, to provide a demo. Um, you know, go to, uh, to LinkedIn. Uh, there's a bunch of guys on there that, uh, you know, they'll do podcasts like this and they'll have a couple uh, Zoom calls where they're doing webinars and things like that. Um, you know, but reach out to us, you know, we're, we're happy to work with anybody and everybody that's, that's willing to listen. At the end of the day, we're just trying to improve, right? That's all we're trying to do. We're trying to get everybody improve as a, as a player, as a coach, as an organization. You know, I'm a firm believer in if, if you think that you've figured it out, then, you know, you're, you're just selling yourself short. Um, you know, and I think we do a good job of empowering players and coaches, uh, to have something to strive for, to be, to be, you'll never be a hundred percent perfect, but if you go with the mindset of, I want to be a master at my craft, which goes back to the, uh, you know, talking about elite athletes, um, you know, sky's the limit at that point.